Ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest, the world's largest graphics card. This is the A100 processor board. It is 50 pounds, eight GPUs connected by NVLink, 600 gigabytes per second, six MV switches, one million drill holes, one kilometer of traces connecting all of this, over 30,000 components, 50 pounds. In DGX, it moves 700 cubic feet per minute. The most transistors on one computer the world has ever made. Ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA A100 system board. The NVIDIA A100 is based on an architecture we call Ampere. And there's several amazing breakthroughs that make this possible. The first is we're using TSMC's seven nanometer process that's been optimized for NVIDIA using a packaging technology called COWAS, chip on wafer on substrate, 3D packaging technology, which puts the memory and the chip on the same substrate, which allows it to interoperate incredibly fast. And we're connected to HBM2 memory that now provides for 1.5 terabytes of frame buffer bandwidth. This is the first processor in history that comfortably delivers over a terabyte per second of bandwidth. The second breakthrough of the Ampere GPU is the new Tensor Core architecture, and it has a new numerical format, Tensor Float 32. It has the range of FP32, the precision of FP16. You input an FP32, it processes it with Tensor Float 32, and accumulates it in FP32. As a result, no code change is necessary when you train. Now, for some people who are ninjas, it is possible to optimize for FP16. But our experience is the vast majority of the world simply trains in FP32 today. And so with this new format, TF32, and no code change, all of a sudden, we can accelerate training tremendously. Let me show you here. On the left is V100 Volta's FP32 matrix operations. And on the right is A100 Tensor Core Accelerated TF32. The speed up is extraordinary. Ampere has a new tensor core acceleration for sparsity. It takes advantage of the fact that most neural networks are very heavily sparse. So it starts with a dense network, the original network, and it zeroes out the weights that are small or close to zero. And then it retrains that network. As a result, this network can be compressed two to one. And using the same data structure, using the same pipeline, we can now effectively accelerate processing by a factor of two. Let me show you the performance. Here, I'm gonna show you the performance of Volta, which is today's state-of-the-art GPU. This is the highest performance GPU in the world today. This is the industry standard of deep learning. The black is Volta. The gray on top of the black is the peak, and the solid is measured. In the case of Volta, V100 FP64 is eight teraflops. FP32 is 16 teraflops peak. FP16, 125 and N8 is 60. And the gold will be the new A100 Ampere GPU. Look at that. A100 FP64 is 20 teraflops. A100 TF32 is 160 teraflops, 10 times. In the case of FP16, 310. In the case of N8, 625 peak. Now this is without sparsity. With sparsity, you get another boost. Look at the factor of two. A100 sparse TF32 is now 310 peak. A100 sparse FP16, 625 peak. And for N8, the world's first processor to achieve over one petaops. This is now 1.25 pops.